Hello, hello, everybody. It is Monday morning, bright and early. And, um, I have been up for a long time, but I'm just now getting in here. And I mixed this, these paints last night. This canvas here is cursed. But I'm gonna try it one more time. I tried three times to do this for yesterday, and I could not ever get it where I liked it. So, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna do it a little differently. Um, but I was really pissed off because I mixed up three whole batches of, you know, uh, paint and I had it recorded, you know, I was trying to record it. So I went through all of that three whole times and then um, it just wouldn't do right. And um, so um, I put it up. Um, I put it in no man's land underneath my table, which is where I put cursed canvases. Canvases that, um, just don't seem to want to cooperate with me until I decide to go back and work on them again later. And, uh, so I put it down there overnight. I decided, I did some other pours, but I didn't try to redo this peacock pour. I just left it alone. And, um... So today, I'm feeling like I can tackle it. So we will see. And um, um, this time I'm gonna use a different technique with it. Um, everybody knows that these balloon pours are harder on a big canvas, no matter what technique you do. But um, yesterday I had tried doing what I call the multi-blooms, where you put several little blooms on one canvas. I tried doing one big bloom. Um, then I tried, uh, I don't remember what the other thing I tried was anyway. I tried three different times. I never could get it where I wanted it. It just would not do. I never have had that happen to that extent before, ever. So, and it's, Aggravating because that's expensive. I wasted a whole bunch of paint. Um, you know, and um, it just makes me want to do it even more. You know, it just, it pisses me off so bad that it makes me just committed to, you know, come hell or high water, you know, we're going to get this done. So, anyway, it, it is a Peacock 4. Um, cat, get out of here. Oh, why these animals? We have six cats in this house. They go in and out. And for some reason, they're all obsessed with this room. And they only want in here, but only when I'm in here. You know, they don't come in and look around when there's nothing going on. They wait till I'm working. So, anyway. Um, yeah, it, you know, it's peacock colors. I used up the last of my Peacock Feather pigment on it. I used the last of my Snapdragon pigment on it. Oh, I was mad. So, this color here is sort of close to the Snapdragon color. It's a, you know, um, it's got some dioxazine purple and uh, some Luna Dust purple pigment. Um, I just sort of, you know, had to uh, had to innovate there. Um, this color I mixed um, myself. It's like a custom color, and since I did it yesterday, I have no idea what to put in it. Um, I know there's Prussian blue, and I believe a little uh, phthalo blue green hue, and maybe a little green paint, too. I don't no, I can't remember. My memory gets worse every day. I mean, it's just horrible. I really try to keep up with those things for y'all because I know it's important, but it's hard. Um, that is Deco Art Emerald Green because I no longer have any peacock, peacock feather, which is what I really had wanted to use on it, but it is how it is. And, uh, I'm so aggravated 
That's why I decided to do this this morning. I was hoping it might make me feel better. That woman that ran over me the other day and told them my car, and they're giving us all kinds of problems, the insurance company. And um, I was on the phone with them, and that didn't go well. And so I was, like, uh, irritated. Um, and I uh, needed a little catharsis. That's really pretty looking. And that's some teal. That other is aquamarine. This is the teal. And I don't know if you've watched any of my videos in the last couple of days, but I got some new paints that I'm excited about. They're um, all Master's Touch uh, heavy body acrylics. And I've never used heavy bodies before for pouring. Um, and I really like them. And they're very bold and vibrant colors and doesn't take much of them um, to mix. Um, that right there is um, actually like a medium hue uh, green with some lime green added to it. Um, but I like them. They um, are really pretty. I like them so much. I bought some blue ones, a couple of blues and greens. They have really unique colors like phthalo blue green hue and phthalo green red hue and things like that. Um, and uh, the cobalt teal and cobalt turquoise and just really pretty colors. And um, those are options that you don't get with the their their bunch of soft body acrylics so it's kind of cool and i've noticed that with some other paint brands too that they will offer other options in heavy body that they don't offer in other uh, types so uh, let's see oh goodness uh, i just realized that I have knocked over the cell activator, but I got some still in it. Okay. I was wondering what happened to that. I got a little bit left. Maybe that's a good sign that I didn't, that I knocked it over, but I didn't spill it all. I'm going to take that as a good sign because it could have all spilled. All right. We've got to have our 24 karat gold. And this has got some eye candy. All right. 24 karat pigment in it. I think it's called 24 karat. Um, okay, now for our black cell activator. And I should be getting in um, a shipment from Michael's here in a couple of days with some paints and some more titanium white because I'm out of it. And um, I haven't been able to make white cell activators. I've been making colored ones. So, all right, let's try this and see if I can get this to work this time. Lift the curse, lift the curse.
three wheel on the paint. Yeah, where is that? It is. to me so far. Now, I'm going to do something else kind of weird. I'm going to torch it real quick. Um, real briefly. Simply because somebody at the paint store mixed up my base tent. They must have tilted it. I mean, uh, shaken it. Because there have been tiny little air bubbles. And they start popping as I, I work on it. And um, if I don't, if I torch them now, then you see all these little pinpricks? They'll, they'll make these little pinpricks. There's not as many now because it's just dissipating somewhat on its own. But in, in case this ever happens to you, I didn't know what to do about it at first. And so I didn't do anything about it. And what was happening was when I was finishing tilting, I would notice these little pinpricks, little white holes everywhere, open to the white pillow paint. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I realized, you know, that when I opened that can, it was real frothy. And um, so I think somebody shook it up. But um, anyway, the, the answer to the problem, see this over here, see them where they popped? The answer to it, I think, is to torch it real quick before you tilt it and then when you're tilting it like they'll pop and they make these little holes that are present right now but when you tilt it um it will blend them away somewhat most of the mostly um yesterday i worked with that theory and it seems like um it's uh the best thing to do because i don't know what else to do um somebody suggested you know poke them with a skewer well that would be fine if you could see them, but you can't. Um, you can see some of them, but a lot of them are underneath the surface and they just look like tiny little, you know, bumps. And they're not, um, you'd never, you could, it would be, it's impossible, you know, to try to poke them with a skewer or anything like that. The only thing I know to do is heat. So that's why I did that. And I don't see any other untoward effects by using the, heat on it. It didn't seem, doesn't seem to hurt anything. Now, I'm not just prattling on to be prattling on. I'm waiting on all of that to settle really good because um, I want it all to have come back to its original place really good. I don't want any problems with the tilting part because of paint not wanting to move simultaneously. So you look at it going together. It's moving all together, that's what it's supposed to do. But if you don't wait on all of that paint to come back to the center after you blow, it will not move all together. And it will screw it up big time. And that may have been part of what I did wrong yesterday. Because I was in a hurry all day long and I think I might have, you know, I might have just gotten impatient with it. 
Uh, so I'm going to do it really slowly today. Um, I'm going to come back to the center after I do each corner. Because I don't want to have to do this again. But by God, I'm going to get this for. It's going to happen. So let's just see. So far, so good. The paint is moving together. It's not sucking up over one, you know, overlapping over one area like can happen. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try to keep as much paint on the canvas as I can until it's time to pour it off until I, until we're out of the woods, so to speak. Um, we shall see. The colors are really beautiful this time. Prettier than it has been before. The funny thing about doing those pours was, you know, um, one time I did two, two blooms, two little puddles side by side. One time I did two of them diagonally. Another time I did like four or five little ones. And, um, they, none of them worked out right, but the funny thing was that, um, the worst one was the last one, and it's like, you know, after you've done it that many times, I thought I would improve some way, and it was gonna, you know, at least start to look somewhat better, but it didn't, it just got worse. That last one, I didn't even hardly let the paint hit the canvas before I poured it off, and said, screw it, it's horrible. It's ugly. It's terrible. Alrighty. Now, so this one is already much prettier. Now we just need to kind of stretch it a little bit. Um, and this one's going to do it. This one's the one because look at those cells and the lacing. It's beautiful. And, uh, I think, uh, it's gonna be good. I just need to, you know, get it stretched a little bit and pour a little bit of the paint off like that. So we got, got a little bit too much and I gotta be careful not to get my, I'm sorry, I know you can't see it, but I gotta be careful not to get my fingers up in it. I kept doing that when I was working on it yesterday, and I get really pissed off because uh, I think I had it just about where I wanted it, and then I'd look and there'd be a big a place where our finger had gotten too close and caused it to make these bad looking uh, smears in it. That's beautiful, y'all. I love it. Oh, no, yeah. Now, that is what I was wanting. That is what I've been going for. I don't know where they're going uh, leave, to leave that white in, or I may pour it off. I kind of like just the dark color, but um, I've got a little white over there on that side. I really kind of need to pour it off, but I think I will because I got too much paint on here. It's still like pouring. Okay. Good enough. Mm. I'll be happy not to have to repeat this thing. I never, I don't think I've ever worked so hard for four. I don't think I've ever tried so hard and been so disappointed. <laughs> it was just like bashing your head into the wall over and over and over again. Okay, we're just trying to stretch that again uh, a little bit. Get it back up where it's like 
symmetrical how I wanted it to be. We got a little white showing. That's fine. I don't mind. Okay. I'm done. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm done. That's beautiful. And I only see a few of those little pimpery things. And I'll show you. Um, I'll get uh, this black and take care of them. See, like, right over here. Here's a few of them. And I could just leave those. They're not really bad. And I don't think anybody else would probably notice them except me. Um, but, guess what? If I notice them, that's one person too many. And I don't want them here. They're tiny, little bitty, you know, look like little grains of sand or something on there. I don't want them there, and I'm not going to have it. And they're a real pain to, to fix, too, because when you're dabbing this on there, if you push a little bit too hard, you go down into the white, and then you have another issue you have to fix. There's some right here. There's one. Get that. But yesterday they were so bad that, like, you couldn't even really hardly tell what color, you know, was originally present because they, you know, were, there were so many of them that it just whited the colors out. It was really bad. Here's some over here I'm going to get. And then, that's good. I'm pretty happy. If I got my corners looking good, you know. Uh, I'm just dab a little black on there to be sure. Cool. I'm happy. That's good. <sighs> Wait just a minute. I'm almost happy. I, I see a couple more of them. Okay. Y'all probably think I'm crazy nitpicking over those little bitty holes. But, if you don't do it as well as you can, why bother? You know? I mean, I, I don't have to ask. Alright, let's have a look. <sighs> Well, assuming nothing happens to this one, I think it's one of my favorite ones. I think it's really beautiful. So, let's have a look up close. And I say that just because, um, it's kind of an odd thing to say, I guess, but I've just been through so much with this one. <laughs> you know, I mean, I would think I had it going, and then it would just turn to crap. And it happened so many times. But I'm happy with this one. I may keep this one. I was trying to figure out. I I, I think everybody needs a peacock for somewhere in their house. You know. I have two peacock stained glass pieces. So the colors just are really pretty. Okay, guys, y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting my channel. We're growing. We're getting a little bigger. I mean, I know I haven't been here all that long, and it takes a long time, but I'm working really hard, and I know y'all are trying to help me, and that means a lot. Um, so join me. I'm here every day. I post videos several a day because um, this is all I do. So I appreciate y'all being here. And um, if you want to, like and subscribe. That's a good idea and it helps me. Y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.